welcome to the video and I've just joined the South Downs Way north of Brighton and today with my buddy Kev we're going to cycle all the way along the South Downs Way to Eastbourne this is quite a tough ride it's not massively long but it's probably going to be 50k plus but it's got a lot of climbing so it's going to be a tough day let's hope I got my climbing legs on today Smooth, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fast approaching the first of, I think it's four big climbs, but it might be three, I can't remember. This one is the climb up to Fell Beacon. So far we've done 17K, but we haven't hit any of the major climbs yet. A long way to go yet. That was absolutely horrendous and I'm still not at the top yet. Kev is up ahead and I am dying and there's plenty more climbing to be done today as well. This is going to be a tough day. Thank you. That was nice. I was seriously blowing up there. So we've gone past the car park at Furl Beacon and we carry on. And we're onto sections of the South Downs Way, which I really don't know very well. Feels a bit cooler than it did earlier. And we're up to 24K. I think it's time to stop for something to eat. <laughs> Wind seems to have picked up, just turned noticeably colder don't think it's going to rain but I'm not 100% confident it almost feels like we're at the top of the clouds here just at the underneath the cloud line you can see the mist coming up through the valley Coming into the beautiful village of Alfriston where I should be able to stock up on food. Another break, got some more food. Definitely take me all the way to Eastbourne. Feels a lot warmer as you come down the valley as well. Definitely got a big climb coming up. Cyclists in the question, South Down Way temporary diversion in place, please refer to the accompanying map. It says route closed, but I don't actually know where we are.
Just on the climb out of Alfriston. It's a tough one, it's very technical with rocks and ruts. It's a, it's a difficult one to do. Luckily it's dry, so for memory, I think we've done the techie bit, but there's still plenty more meters to ascend. That was technical, wasn't it? It's just really tiring that stuff, isn't it? Because you, you have to kind of put a bit of power in every Yeah, you've got to kind of go, right track, you? you go steady and then you've got to pull it, push hard, haven't you? Yeah. You can see what's to come, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. I've forgotten how long this climb is. We do burn some calories up here. Yeah. Whoa, that is absolutely brutal. Maybe that is the toughest climb on the South Downs Way. I thought Fell Beacon was bad, that's worse, isn't it? Keep progressing we think the next place we're going to get to is Jevington and assuming there's a climb out of there as well even though I can't for the life of me remember what it's like it's just very steep downhill do you want to go down the bottom and ring me ring <laughs> a steep descent we weren't expecting a bit nervous because we know we'll have a climb afterwards slowly coming back to me actually as soon as we hit the gravel I thought oh yeah I think I do recognize this and somewhere around the church is a tap that was easy to find my front brake is basically not working at all now I can feel it when I'm going down the hill if I pull off my back brake and I've just got my front brake on it just makes no difference really because what's happening, one, there's one pad is touching almost all the time and the other one's miles away, it's not centred properly. South Downs Way. That doesn't look familiar at all, does it? No. There you go. <laughs> we didn't go the wrong way, we just got some more content yeah. on the climb out of Jevington. So far, so bad. Can't remember this climb at all. I don't know how long it is. It's another hard climb. I'm not sure it's as bad as Alfriston, but it's, it's long. We're at the golf course in Eastbourne, which means one thing, that means we're close. And we're nearly there. I think there's a few little up and downs, but we're nearly there. I think we might be treating ourselves to a pint. So it's not been four major climbs from where we were. It's only been three, so it's slightly easier than I thought. Still putting a shift today though. Oh, sun. Sunny. It's taken about five hours to come out. It's a seafront soapbox race. Just 
Just had a quick pint and now we're off to the train station. So two busy trains back from Eastbourne. Had to change. Got off at Falmer and cycling back through Stanmer Park. So left myself a nice little climb at the end of the day. But it's been a really enjoyable ride. Cycling on paths I have been on before, but not for a long time. So they felt kind of fresh. Three big climbs, not four as I thought. So I'd say the day's not quite as tough as I thought it was gonna be when I set out. I'll have to check the climbing stats when I upload my ride to Strava, but I'm pretty comfortable with my efforts today. So as the sun's out now, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.